welcome to this video this is lecture number 11 we already <laughs> cover up the lecture 1 to 10 for solution the supplementary problem of the books vector analysis by Emil Spiegel book okay in this video we want to solve the supplementary problem 2.83 to 2.87 of this chapter 2 which is consists the dot product and cross product okay if you don't see the previous lecture you can get the link in the description box of this video so let's start today's to solve this question first question 2.83 says find the area of triangle uh, with vertex this that that okay so here the vertex are given vertex are here the vertex of three point take this is a point a whose vertex is 3 minus 1 2 uh, this point is b whose vertex is 1 minus 1 minus 3 this vertex is c whose uh, coordinate is 4 minus 3 1 so if this vector taken as a vector and this is taken as b vector so we can see uh, say that a vector is nothing but coordination of b minus coordination of a so 1 minus 3 minus 1 minus 3 minus 1 2 this is nothing but 1 minus 3 that is minus 2 minus 1 minus 1 0 minus 3 minus 2 that is minus 5 so this can be written as minus 2 i cap k cap in the vector form similarly for b vector which is nothing but c minus a uh, so c is 4 minus 3 1 minus of a is 3 minus 1 2 so this is 4 minus 3 1 that is i cap minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 j cap 1 minus 2 that is minus k cap if we know the vector a and b then we can say that area of triangle area of triangle triangle is nothing but half of a cross b third mod magnitude so we need to find out the a cross b which is i cross j cross k cross coefficient of a is minus 2 0 minus 5 and this is 1 minus 2 minus 1 okay so just calculate i cap 0 minus 10 minus j cap 2 minus 1 plus 5 plus k cap which is 4 minus 0 so this will be half minus 10 i cap minus 7 j cap plus 4 k cap so the magnitude magnitude will be half root under 10 square plus 7 square plus 4 square which is nothing but 149 16 165 so this is root under 165 square unit okay this is the answer of the similarly for b for b use the same process if, if you follow the same process you will be get the answer area will be 21 do this yourself if you uh, any problem to this you can contact with me with whatsapp or telegram link okay next question 2.84 says suppose a vector and b vector are this find a vector of magnitude 5 perpendicular to both a and b you know if we cross the a vector with the b vector if we cross the a vector with the b vector then they are uh, the cross product is perpendicular to a cross b is perpendicular to both the a vector and b vector so a cross b is nothing but 2 i cap j cap k cap this is 2 1 minus 3 this is 1 minus 2 1 so this will be i cap that into 1 minus 6 uh, minus j cap 2 minus 1 plus 3 my uh, plus k cap minus 4 minus 1 this is minus 5 i cap minus 5 j cap minus 5 k cap so the magnitude will be a cross b magnitude will be root under 5 square plus 5 square plus 5 square that is 5 root 3 is the 
magnitude right so the uh, required vector require vector we can say the magnitude is 5 and unit vector is nothing but a cross b and by the magnitude okay so this will be 5 and this will be minus 5 i cap minus 5 j cap minus 5 k cap by 5 root 3 so these fives are cancelled out but there is a common of minus 5 so minus 5 by root 3 within the bracket i cap plus j cap plus k cap this is the answer of this question and you know there is a plus minus so you can say this is in the minus plus is the required vector which says next question use the problem 7.5 to derive the formula this and that in the 7.5 uh, uh, problem 2.75 problem in the problem the r1 is given if you don't know what is the 2.75 you can see the in the previous lecture you got this question or the problem okay r1 was cos alpha i cap sin alpha j cap r2 was cos alpha i cap cos beta i cap sin beta j cap okay this was the given now if i want to find the r1 cross r2 this is i cap j cap k cap cos alpha cos sin alpha 0 cos beta sin beta 0 if you do this the uh, coefficient of i cap is 0 coefficient of j cap 0 only k cap present so this will be cos alpha sin beta minus sin alpha cos beta okay right and uh, the, the, the this word the unit vector so r1 mod is 1 equal to r2 mod this was the unit vector so this will be equals to 1 and the cross product this cross product can be says as actually this is x axis this is y axis if we take this is uh, r1 with angle alpha and this is uh, this is a uh, r2 with angle beta now if r1 cross r2 then this will be r1 cross r2 will be r1 cross r2 will be 1 into 1 into sin alpha minus beta and this is the downward so this will be minus k cap okay so if you if you compare this two you can say sin alpha minus beta is nothing but uh, uh, there is a minus common so this will be sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta right and if you put uh, beta with minus beta beta with minus beta this will be sin alpha plus beta and if cos minus beta is cos beta so this will be sin alpha cos beta uh, minus and sin of minus beta is minus so this will be plus cos alpha sin beta so this is the proof of this problem next suppose f is this applied at this point so this is the point where the force is applied okay this point is 1 minus 1 2 find the moment of force about the point about this is the point uh, for a this is minus 1 min, uh, 2 minus 1 minus 3 so you need to find out this r vector so this r vector <coughs> is nothing but r vector is nothing but 1 minus 1 2 minus of 2 minus 1 3 so this will be 1 uh, minus 2 that is minus 1 that is minus i cap minus 1 or minus 1 0 2 minus 3 that is minus k cap right so r vector cross f is moment of force is r cross f which is i cap j cap 
के कैप आर इस माइनस वन जीरो माइनस वन एंड एफ इस थ्री टू माइनस फोर सो दिस विल बी आई कैप मल्टीप्लाइड जीरो माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस टू माइनस जे कैप फोर माइनस ऑफ माइनस प्लस थ्री के कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप माइनस टू माइनस जीरो सो दिस विल बी टू आई कैप माइनस सेवेन जे कैप माइनस टू के कैप दिस इज द मोमेंट ऑफ दिस फोर दिस इज फॉर वन एंड फॉर बी दी आर वेक्टर विल बी वन माइनस वन टू माइनस फोर माइनस सिक्स थ्री एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट माइनस थ्री आई कैप प्लस फाइव जे कैप माइनस के कैप ओके सो दी आर क्रॉस एफ इज नथिंग बट आई कैप जे कैप के कैप आर इज माइनस थ्री फाइव माइनस वन थ्री टू माइनस फोर एंड दिस विल बी यू गेट लाइक दैट सिक्स आई कैप प्लस फाइव जे कैप डू दिस योर सेल्फ यू कैन सी दिस विल बी द आंसर ओके नेक्स्ट The angular velocity of a rotating rigid body about an axis. This is the angular velocity omega, which is four i cap plus j cap minus no plus minus two k cap. Find the linear velocity of the point whose position vector is this. This is the position vector. This is two i cap minus three j cap plus k cap. So the linear velocity, linear velocity you know the linear velocity related with the omega and r like that so this will be i cap j cap k cap uh, omega is 4 1 minus 2 2 minus 3 1 so i cap into 1 minus 6 minus j cap 4 minus minus 4 plus k cap minus 12 minus 2 so this will be minus 5 i cap minus 8 j cap minus 12 k cap okay this is the linear velocity so this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me regarding figures by the whatsapp or telegram and don't subscribe don't forget to subscribe the channel if you are new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the upcoming video regarding this and share this video to your friends such that she or he will be also benefit with this video okay and if you get some benefit of this from this video you like this session thank you we will meet you in the next video as soon as possible